This video is going to show how to create baskets in Octria. Baskets are used where you have multiple items that have been donated that you want to bundle together and sell as a single lot. The first step in creating a basket is to add the items for the contents of the basket. We're going to create a game night package basket which contains game tickets and the important thing for these items is to set the type to partial. This means that you're not selling them directly, but they will be sold as part of a basket. You can fill in the other fields for the item, description, donor, as well as the item's value. And then save the item. And then we can go through and add the other partial items for this basket. Again, keeping the type as partial, but each one can have its own donor. And its own value. And the final item in our basket is some team swag. Donated by the fans. Once we've created the partial items, we can then create an item that represents the basket itself. In this case, we set the type of the item to match how we're going to sell it, so silent, live, or online. And again, we can fill in the other details about the item. We're going to leave the donor blank, because in this case, the basket wasn't donated by a single person, but by those that produce the partial items. And likewise, we leave the value blank so that the system will generate the value based on the partial items in it. However, we do make sure to check the is basket lot or package option so that we know that this is a basket. So when we've added this item, we can then go to the item details page for it and we'll see that there's a contents tab. If we click on this, we can now include the partial items in the basket. We click on the plus icon and we get a list of partial items, including those that are currently assigned to a basket. In this case, we only want to see items that are not in a basket and we want to add all of these. And we can see that the system is calculating the value of the basket based on all of those partial items. If we wanted to remove an item from a basket, we can just click on the red X next to it. And if that's a mistake, we can just quickly add it back. The image for the basket item will be taken from the basket itself. So we're going to upload a, an image for that. And now if we look at the bid sheet for this item, we'll see that it acknowledges the donors for each of the partial items, as well as shows the total value. Sometimes you might want to include all the details of the basket items on the bid sheet itself. You can do this through the bid sheet advanced format options. If you click on printing, bid sheets, and advanced, the item description format lets you control what is shown. 